What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So we are back with the Trading Weekly Recap. We have so much information to cover, but first I want to say my apologies for my absence last week. I was head deep into this really important project that I want to release by the end of June for you guys, so I hope you can understand. But don't worry, for today's Trading Weekly Recap, we have so much to cover. So as always, let's go over our brief agenda. First and foremost, the market performance. Any news for next week between June 12th to the 16th? How did I perform? The new projects that I'm working on, and then lastly, the promotional deals that we need to cover. So, the cherry on top of this video, as always, it's going to be the end of May YouTube favorites. So typically, I do a YouTube subscriber shout out for the week, but this time, because you know May just ended, there's actually so many channels I came across that provided so much impact and value in my career that I thought would be helpful for you guys. So I picked the top three of the list that I had, and I just want to briefly go over them. And as always, I will link everything down in the description from the articles we cover, the accounts we're going to talk about right now, and all the deals. So big drum roll, please. Four, we unhighlight it. So not dramatic. <laughs> These three YouTube channels. So we have Patrick Wieland or Wyland, uh, Nutty Bar Trading, and Words of Wisdom. So starting off with Patrick, the dude is just so hilarious. He's actually really entertaining to watch, especially when he fights the trolls. But most importantly, his insight about the market. So he does trade live every single day. And if you didn't know about him, then maybe you do now because the past two weeks, he's been on an absolute hot streak. Now, that's not the reason why I decided to choose him as one of my top favorites for the month of May because he was making so much money, but because he was very transparent with what he was looking at, what he was thinking, his market flow strategy, and just being very open to his entire community. On top of that, on other social media platforms such as Twitter, he's very transparent there as well. He responds back to his subscribers, and I think it's very important to have that kind of connection especially when you are a very big youtuber in the space so with Patrick I really appreciate like the channel like his trading his personality although sometimes he can be controversial that's that's how you make it in this industry sometimes that's how you stand out and that's his personality and I'm all for it whatever floats his boat right at the end of the day we are in the space of trading and he provides lots of value to people and you can clearly see it so I appreciate him and he's made a very big impact on my trading journey thus far Next, we have Nutty Bar Trading. This gentleman is so cool. Like watching his live streams and how he reacts with his trades, his thoughts, like the whole nine yards is very impressive. Impressive is the best word to put it because um, I feel like we're on a very, let me get rid of this. We're on a very similar path where he's being transparent with his trading and his goal right now is his road to his first possible payout. Now I have all faith in him. I believe in him that he will make it and I really appreciate his risk management. So one of his videos he had posted, it wasn't a live stream, it was just like an actual posted video. He went over his game plan for, you know, getting to that first payout and what it looked like over the, the course of the next few months. And it, it seemed very realistic, you know, and it was all about managing his risk and obviously his emotions as best as possible. And I found that to be so just realistic for an everyday trader, especially a newbie trying to get into the space. And he like he portrays a really great way of you know going about it just taking his time not letting the payout really dictate how he's going to trade and more so just following his plan as much as possible and that's why i think nutty bar trading is really awesome and he's blowing up on youtube right now he has like over i think 1100 subscribers and he didn't start too long ago so big shout out to you bro keep on doing your thing i'm rooting for you i am <laughs> and then lastly we have words of wisdom now with words of wisdom I briefly talked about him in a recent video I uploaded this past week in my six months as a futures trader video. And with this channel, it brings so much insight to trading psychology. And as a fellow trader who constantly beats herself up when it comes to having bad losing days and comparing now to before to where I want to be and just lots of you know self-doubt and negativity some days, this channel helps a lot with bringing up my spirits. So with this, you know, it's very raw, it's uncut, it's a podcast, right? So everything is just real and genuine. And the traders that go on there, not only is the host very great at asking really, you know, profound questions and, and guiding the conversation, but the traders that come on there bring a lot of, you know, knowledge and history and education. And, you know, you can learn a lot from these people, not only about their strategy and what they're looking for, but also how they hold themselves as character. And I think that these three channels overall can really help bring your trading to the next level if you take it seriously and if you really review how they're acting, what they're doing, and I don't want to say copy and paste, but definitely take note of the similar characteristics as to how they are becoming successful. That's what I've been doing and 
I just find these three people to be my YouTube May favorites because of those reasons. So, shout out to you guys. Again, link down in the description of all their channels. But now let's go ahead and move on over to the market performance of the week, starting off with the market calendar. So on Monday, we had PMI, and it's okay. <laughs> Tuesday was nothing. Uh, Wednesday, we had the deficit and the credit numbers. And then yesterday, Thursday, we had jobless claims. So this past week, you know, although it didn't seem like anything really crazy was released, the market still took a nice beating. So now if we move on over to trading view here, you'll see on Monday, right here, we had some sideways action. So Sunday going into Monday, we had some sideways action. Same thing for Tuesday, nothing really released. But overnight, um, going into Wednesday morning, or I apologize, am I reading this right? Yeah, yeah. Tuesday overnight, going into Wednesday morning, even uh, Wednesday, like the whole session, that is when we had a crazy drop. So at this point, we came back to that same area that we bounced off earlier of last week. And <clears throat> at this point, we are coming through, you know, our strong demand zones. As you can see here, we came through it, but we didn't fully close below it. We whipped out off the same bottom as this previous um, bottom from last week. And then we just took off. From there, coming into, you know, Wednesday overnight into Thursday morning, we had a pretty strong bull bull market to end the day. And from there, we just didn't stop running. We actually gapped up to, to pretty much fill this here. And we just kept on pushing from Thursday to today. So with today's session, you know, we came all the way to R2, my certain pivot point I was looking for, maybe even 15,000. Obviously, we didn't get to 15,000, but we had a very nice push. You know, for me, waking up this morning, I actually missed this entire move, but it is what it is. We would take whatever points we can get. And this is where we actually rejected off this four hour zone. I believe this is a four hour zone. Yes, it is. So this really, really strong four hour zone, we couldn't quite break and hold out of it. Um, but coming into next week, we might have the expectation of doing just that. Now, if I pull up next week's market events, which is right here, the 12th, we have our budget review coming on Monday, the 12th. And then on Tuesday, we have CPI. So lots of volatility is going to start off right away. Wednesday, we have PPI. And then Thursday, we have jobless claims. We have price index, lots of numbers. And then lastly, on Friday, we have consumer sentiment and the speech. So for all of next week, I'm expecting lots of volatility. The possible retracement to refill this gap we've created, although we had a push from the bearish to the downside, we had a gap to the upside. You never know, we usually fill the gaps anyways, so it might refill this, otherwise a push to 15,000 seems possible. We'd have to obviously break and hold through this four hour zone, push into 15,000, and then here is that 2022, um, near like the pandemic time, double top resistance, I would like to see if we're gonna break or not. Uh, but yeah, that is what I'm expecting for next week with the events that are coming on, and then for the overall charts. Now for, I believe it's my performance in the market, I actually posted on my YouTube community tab. I've been quite active in this uh, area here. <laughs> just been, po been posting like journal posts, poll boards, just the whole nine yards. And I appreciate all of you guys for engaging with me in this section. But I did post that I actually passed a few accounts today. So starting off with the Elite Trader Funding one, I actually passed the 100K uh, Fast Track account. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, then I also passed two of the 50Ks with Apex Trader Funding. And then lastly is my Bolinox 50K Master account. Uh, this account is not an evaluation. It's an actual uh, performance account. And with this one, I'm actually doing a series on my channel, if you didn't know. And with that series, I'm just posting transparent videos on my trades, the breakdown, my strategy, my mentality, the whole thing. And so we did pretty well this entire week. I would like to say so myself. Uh, mentally speaking on the week, I felt pretty calm on like all occasions and I felt like having the discipline of controlling my time of trading has helped a lot with my overall performance on everything and so I think that was like the biggest change and the biggest difference that I really needed to make in order to start moving towards the right direction. Um, performance wise as you can tell we did pass all these accounts and um, I feel very proud of the way I handled these accounts because the way I handled it was essentially treating these evaluations like performance accounts, funded accounts and not thinking of them like as easy, quick, you know, jackpot winners. At this point, it was more of, okay, like how can I make a consistent amount to be able to get to that goal and then be done with it? So it was all about maintaining that consistency and, and managing my risk and my emotions, which is exactly what I did. So that's why I think performance-wise, pretty darn happy with that. Um, and then here's actually my Elite Trader Funding certificate. I got it just uh, about an hour ago. So really cool. Um, I'm just very thankful for it and looking forward to furthering my relationship with ETF. 
um, especially because they offer trade of it and trading view. It's my all time favorite. So yeah, that is my performance on the week. Now let's go ahead and move on to what my new projects are that I'm working on. So obviously the first one I've already mentioned it, which is the road to my first payout series, which is on my YouTube channel. So every single time I trade that account, the 50k master account with Bolinox, I will be recording and posting a daily recap video going over my mentality, my strategy, my psychology, any live trades I take, and then obviously a trades breakdown during that video. Um, another thing I had posted in my YouTube community tab, if you guys didn't know, is actually asked um, all of you guys for your opinion. So we need a total of 60 votes in order for you know us to be able to decide which option we're going to go with. Right now we're at 32 votes, so we just need 28 more to go. But for option one, it's just a daily recap video like I've been doing now for the past three days. Um, and then option two is a daily recap video still. And then also I may live stream on YouTube with my phone. So it'll, it'll happen, but just not every single day. Just sometimes I'll be doing it. Um, the reason being, long story short, is because my laptop's a bit older, so having all the softwares running at the same time, it just wouldn't work smoothly with my trading, so that's why I would have it on my phone. But nonetheless, if you guys wanted to vote for your decision on what you guys prefer, let me know here. Uh, this is a really fun series so far, and I'm just really trying to hold myself accountable to maintaining my discipline with my risk, my emotions, and my time of trading. And then the second project that I'm actually working on is um, what I'll be releasing at the end of June. The reason why I skipped out last week on the Trading Weekly Recap, it is because I'm working on a website. So that website, it's so much trial and error, a lot of spelling corrections, a lot of just, just a lot of editing everywhere. And with that website, I just hope to have all of the frequently asked questions I get in there, maybe like a way we can contact each other a lot easier. You'll see my transparent journal posts, you'll see like what's happening with the different companies I'm trading with, any updates with them, and, and just everything and anything all in one place. And I find that to be the most effective, easiest way for us to, you know, communicate with one another because not everybody has Instagram or Twitter or even YouTube. Maybe they're not even watching this, but they found me through Instagram or Twitter. So, you know, and even trading view. So I think it would be a really great place to have everyone all in one like server and yeah, just go from there. So I'm working on that website. Um, and then that leads me to my follow-up question, which is about Discord. So I briefly mentioned that in another video this past week too, but a few of you asked me if I was planning to make a Discord server. I think that would be really, really cool, but you know, I'm not planning to pull the strings on that just yet, as we don't know if enough people are going to be interested to join. Obviously, it would be free, and it would be another place where we can come together, talk strategy, talk trading, talk psychology, talk all things. We can go on live voice there. Um, but again, we need enough people to vote for that to happen. I'm thinking sometime along the future, maybe if we break over a thousand subscribers, maybe 1500 subs, just so that it's worth it for everybody. And it's not just like, you know, 10, 15 people in there just so it's everyone else could join in if they wanted to. So um, that's the current projects I'm working on. A few other things really, really behind the scenes, like some interview stuff and some just content creation stuff. But I just wanted to give you guys a little insight as to what's happening and what, I'm, what I've been up to. <laughs> All right. Now, lastly, we have our promotional deals. So again, everything will be linked down below, but starting with Apex Trader Funding, ending on June 12th, we have the 80% off lifetime deal. With this, you'll be automatically entered into their 40 100K PA giveaway, 31, 31 winners, first 30 winners get one PA, the 31st winner gets 10 100K PA. So a uh, really awesome one there. So you have three days before this sale is gonna end and the entries to the giveaway. For Bullinox, which is the company I'm currently using my series for, uh, with Bullinox we have the 80% off price match for the Option 1 accounts. That's the 25, 50, and 100k accounts. I apologize. This is, there you go, 100k accounts uh, that with this code. And then you have 40% off all the accounts as well, including Option 2, if you guys wanted to do Option 2, which is end of day uh, drawdown. Uh, then we have Elite Trader Funding. Because I just passed that... Um, account right here they give they've given me a special discount of 50 percent off for your first evaluation so if you guys wanted to give you uh elite trader funding a go 50 percent off your first 100k eval with this here or you can um go ahead and just use the qr code that's on there um, and then on Monday the 12th, they also are updating their timeline. If you didn't know, ETF has been kind of like teasing its community and traders about all the updates and releases they're, they've been up to. And it's kind of been suspenseful and kind of exciting. So on Monday, definitely look out for that. I already notified myself for the YouTube premiere because I want to know what they're up to. 
Um, then we have Lilu Trading. We have 30% off all the accounts. And as you know, Lilu is one of my favorite companies because they have really great customer service. And on top of that, their accounts are really awesome. Speaking of which, we have the Lilu entries. I also spoke about this account specifically in my six months future trading video. The Lilu entry, really great way to practice your strategy if you're a beginner, and especially if you're on a really tight budget, super, super affordable. And if you are more into the bundle accounts, because I know I really like those, the 150 and 250K bundle accounts are my favorite. I think at this time, there's not any sales for them right now. But definitely, you know, I would keep in mind to keep looking out for them. And even if there is no sales, I would still recommend to giving this a go because you get between three to five practice accounts per bundle for like a really good deal. And on top of that, you just can't go wrong with their amazing customer service. And then lastly, we have Tick Tick Trader. So we have 50% off the 25, 50, and 100K standard accounts. This does end the end of June. So you have plenty of time to take advantage of this if you like. And then also their direct accounts, if you didn't know, they've made the 10K, 25K, and the 50K direct all permanent on their website. You can save some extra money on the 25K uh, with this code and then the 50K direct with this. The direct account is pretty much you already passing the evaluation. You don't have to take it. And the first three months of any withdrawals you make is 100% yours right off the bat. You don't have to like wait or anything. Um, so it's just a really great deal for those that don't want to take the eval, you have confidence in your strategy. The only time I would recommend a direct account is if you know you have exactly what it takes to pretty much make money. So you don't want to just throw, you know, X amount of dollars on the drain knowing you don't have the strategy or the psychology for it. So for these direct accounts, definitely only purchase if you know for a fact like you can do it and actually make the money and you have proven time and time again that you have. Um, but yeah, that is everything that is with the promotions going on, uh, my performance, the market performance, the projects I'm working on. Um, I appreciate your guys' time and support. And especially, you know, with our YouTube channel, you guys are absolutely killer. We are at 620 subscribers. It was like, like, I don't even know, like 30 subs within the past week alone. So I am so grateful for all of you. It's like 100 subs, I think. But either way, I'm super grateful for all of you guys, your time and support, your love with everything. And as always, I wish you guys nothing but the best and most success in your trading journey. And I will see you all in the next video.